Ron Rivera and Kyle Smith must not be as worried about the tight end position as many Redskins fans. Washington concluded the 2020 NFL draft without selecting a single tight end, and while the team could certainly sign an undrafted player after the draft, there wasn't a significant investment at the position. That continues a perhaps troubling trend. The Redskins signed Logan Thomas and Richard Rodgers during free agency, but neither player looks like a starter. Thomas had just 16 catches last season and Rodgers has just one catch in the last two seasons. Jeremy Sprinkle and Hale Henches are the incumbents, and Henches might be a sneaky contender to actually win the job. In 2019, Henches logged just eight catches, but the part about him potentially winning the job isn't a joke. Click here to subscribe to the Redskins Talk podcast. Many thought that after the Redskins made little noise at tight end during free agency that the position would be a priority in the draft. Well, it wasn't. Rebuilds don't happen overnight, and not all positions can be addressed at once. That's understandable. But the Redskins lost Jordan Reed and Vernon Davis since the 2019 season ended. Tight end is a big hole on the roster. Offensively, the Redskins needed to solve their tight end and left tackle spots, by trading Trent Williams and drafting Sardik Charles, it appears there is a plan at left tackle. The plan at tight end remains a mystery. And barring a trade it looks like it won't get seriously addressed until 2021. Stay connected to the Capitals and Wizards with the My Teams app. Click here to download for comprehensive coverage of your teams. More Redskins news. Let's block ads. Why?